Hey Chalkers, August is here and Club Couture is taking subway art from the subway and bringing it right to your kitchen with the most charming farmhouse inspired transfer. With a warm, fresh country inspired palette, this project is sure to delight all year long. This month's shipment comes with everything you see here, the exclusive eight and a half by 11 kitchen rules transfer and three paste singles in the colors black velvet, shimmer copper and sage. All right, for this project, I'm using our nine by 12 double sided box frame to really lean into the farmhouse look. I've gathered all my supplies so we're ready to go. To begin, I'll prep my transfer by removing the backer and placing it sticky side down on our fuzzing cloth. This picks up some lint from the fuzzing cloth and gentles the adhesive on the new transfer. Now let's get it centered on the box frame and smooth it out. Great, let's prep the paste singles. I'm prepping my black velvet paste by kneading it to make sure it's well mixed. Then I'll just cut open the packet and squeeze them into my color tray. I'll do the same with shimmer copper and sage. Okay. Let's get chalking. I'll be using a mini squeegee and two multi-tools for this project. I'm gonna start with my mini squeegee for black velvet and then the two multi-tools for shimmer copper and sage. Starting with black velvet at the top, I'm just going to work my way down, rotating colors as I go to create a fun subway style project. I'm just doing small sections of the sentiment at a time in a thin layer of paste and I'm being careful not to mix my colors on my transfer. Once I cover just a little bit more, I think I'll stop and peel. I'm using a technique we call chalk and pull. You can use this technique for any transfer that you really want to get detailed with and that you might not be able to do without part of it drying. I've made it about halfway down, so I'm gonna peel the transfer just past the portion that I've chalked and let it dry. This allows me to work in smaller sections and be really finicky about my color choices and placement without having the paste dry in the screen. Once it's dry, lay it back down and smooth out the unchalked screen, and then we're good to keep going. Let's go back in with black velvet for this section so that my rooster can really pop in shimmer copper. Then let's continue down rotating colors and get the screen all covered. Notice how little paste I'm using. A little bit really goes a long way. And this is such a fun transfer to really customize for your house. Let phrases that you want to emphasize pop with a little shimmer copper or sage and let other sections be neutral with black velvet. Or just follow along and create this exact project right from home. Let's finish this off and we'll be ready to peel. This time I'll pull it all the way off. Stop, it's so cute. Show off your farmhouse kitchen with this month's Club Couture. And don't forget to enjoy your family time, give thanks, and mind your manners. Happy chalking.